Hello there, book geeks. Yes, I haven't addressed you lately. I'm always addressing the bookworms and the book nerds, but I always forget the, about the book geeks. And I'm one of each of them. <laughs> I'm a bookworm, a book geek, and a book nerd. And a paper nerd, your friend, paper nerd. So today I'm coming with a, a little book here to you. Uh, it is a short book, it's not too too long. Anyways, um, it's something for in between and it's a little kicker there. I gave it three stars, probably three and a half. Wasn't too bad. Um, I would enjoyed it. The book is called Three Truths and a Lie by Brent Hartinger. Um, yeah, I'm gonna read to you my review on Goodreads first and then I'm gonna give my little uh, you know, my little comments afterwards here and there, uh, because, yeah, I have more comments for this book. Anyways, let's begin. So that this book is readable. I gave it only three stars. Should have given it three and a half, because the end was just too short. It's like the win uh, writer went all out in details throughout the story, but then totally sold out for a short ending. Although I have to give it to him, the ending was surprising. A real psycho horror trip. I kind of had my suspicions about the who done it, but after I was kind of mad at myself because didn't this book teach exactly how lies are made? Lies are always told in great details versus the truth. Alrighty, so again, um, my thoughts about it is if you don't pay attention in the beginning you won't figure it out until the end what's actually going on and because i was so involved in this book in the beginning and thought what am i missing that's why i missed what actually happened in the end and the end was a shocker and it and i was really mad at myself that i didn't understand it earlier what's going on there in the book so um, yes it is about friends it is also here is a trigger warning which I didn't know um, it is about a um, supposedly gay couple and then a normal heterosexual couple young people they go out to um, I guess just for a weekend to um, this girl's family's, well, what is it? Um, can't call it a hut, a cottage, a very simple cottage with an outhouse. Um, so nothing luxurious or whatever, um, somewhere in the woods. And uh, yeah, something is happening there. It's, it looks like there's somebody after them for some reason. Can't tell you anything about it because you need to read it yourself. Uh, it was it was not too bad. I give it three and a half stars because, like I said, the end sucked. Uh, it didn't suck. I can't say that, but the end could have been, been a little bit more drawn out because the whole book, you know, there was a lot of ex explanations, a lot of things happening, a lot of, <gasps> oh no, moments. And then you come to the end and you're like, that's it? Like one big boom, wiping everything out that's it. That sucks. So yeah, I didn't like the end, but everything else, okay. Uh, gave it three stars, should have given it three and a half, but somehow I haven't figured out how you can do that on Goodreads, how you can give three and a half or any half stars. Anyways, uh, get yourself the book. It's worth it. It is a short novel, not too long, something good for in between. And uh, yeah, I see you some other time. Have a good week, month, year, whatever. Uh, stop by frequently, frequently and see what I have in store for you. Alrighty, bye.